Hello everyone, I'm Vikas and welcome to Small Academy. In this video today, we're going to talk about how to upload your Android Studio project into GitHub. So this is really basics video and all of you may not need to watch this video because if you already know how to do that, you don't need to watch it because I'm making this video just to let the people who don't know how to upload their project into the GitHub because a lot of people ask me questions in Facebook group and here in the YouTube as well. but when I when I ask them to upload their project on GitHub and send me the link so that I can look into it, they are not really able to do it. So I'm making this video just to share this video with them to them who don't know how to upload their project in GitHub. So we're gonna follow a few simple steps and at the end of this video, you'll be able to upload your Android Studio project into the GitHub so that you can share that link with me. Okay, so let's go ahead. First, we need few things. One is software called Git and another one is GitHub account. So to be able to use the GitHub, you need to have an account. So go to the GitHub and sign up for new account. Once you are done creating account, just uh, download this software called Git. So you can go to git slash git scmcom or I'll, link, I'll leave this link in the description so you can check from there. And you need to download the software from here. So if you are using this on Mac, Linux or Windows, you can download your variant of software from here. Once the software is downloaded, you can install it just by following the instruction given in the installation window. Once you are done with the installation, if you go and right click anywhere on the desktop or anywhere, you will see these two options here. One is git GUI and git bash. Okay, so we're going to use git bash and uh, I'm going to show you guys how to upload your project into github using the git bash. So once you are able to use this git bash option here, just open the git bash. So we need to set our global username and email. So make sure that you are using the same email name that you are using in the github. So first I'm going to set the git username. So I can use command git config dash dash global. and user dot name and in the quotes just type your name so in my case this is because okay and now we need to set the email so config global user dot email and now type the same email that you have used to create the github account okay so this is my email i'm gonna hit enter now we can start using this git uh, software to upload the data into the github okay so i have one test android studio project here so if i go here and uh, i'm going to select one of the project that i have not uploaded into the google so just select this one so in the root folder of our android studio project right click on here and open git bash okay so now our open our git bash is open in this particular directory. Now I can upload this into the github. So let me go back to the github. Once I am in the github, I need to create the new repository. So here you will see one plus button and new repository option. Click on that. And here you can give your repository name. So in my case, Google sign in with Firebase. Okay and just give the description that is optional you don't need to do that okay now you can select public or private since you are sharing this repository with me just make it as public and just click on create repository do not check this initialize with readme now the github will give you a few commands that you need to copy from here so just copy this and go to the git that we have opened in this particular Android Studio project directory and now right click on here and paste the command okay now it is asking our key input here so hit enter and once you hit this git push it's going to ask you for username and passport of your github account okay so here you need to use the same github account username and password so I'm gonna type that Okay, now we need to log in. 
okay my user uh, login failed so let me just type it again okay the login is successful here now it is writing the objects so once the once you enter the username and password correctly it will going to upload the sample file to our project so if i go back to the github here and refresh this same page it's going to upload one readme file here okay now we can start pushing our files so from here i'm gonna add all of these files into the github okay so there are a few like three commands that you need to remember first one is git status okay it is going to display all the files that you can add and upload to your github account okay so now i'm gonna add i'm gonna add these files to my github account uh, i'm gonna create a commit and i'm gonna commit that i'm gonna push that commit to my github account okay so there are a few terms that you need to remember like commit push okay and so on there are so many terminologies that you can remember but for this purpose we don't need to remember much so i'm gonna create i'm gonna add this file first so git add and a slash a it's going to add all the files you can also use star as well but uh, minus a is fine here and now if i use git status again it's going to display all the files that is going to be committed in our github repository okay it is all in green it should be in green now i can create the commit so git commit minus m now i need to say set the commit message so it can be anything so i'm gonna say it is as initial commit okay so once the commit is done now we can push our codes into the github repository so git push once you hit the push it's going to upload the files into our github repository i rec i am recommending you guys to use github because once we upload the file from this procedure devices okay so it will only upload those files that are essential for me to run your project in my system so we don't need to upload unnecessary files okay so if you generally try to try to upload your project into github it will be like 20 or 25 mb of size but if you upload files using this method it's going to be only 2 or 3 mb so it's going to save a lot of space and time okay so the file is uploaded into my github you can see here and if i go back here and refresh this now i can see all the files that i need to run this project so what you can do now is you can just copy this repository and send it to me and i will check your project and we can discuss about it in your email or in the git uh, facebook account we have and we can debug the project and so on okay i hope this video is helpful for you guys to upload your project in github and i hope to see you in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe and see you have a good day